that. And I'm, I'm sharing this with you folks because this is the kind of relationship you want to have uh, with your physician. And uh, I'm not saying that Dr. O'Brien is going to be your physician because we're here to talk about a book. And if, but I tell you, when he was here practicing in the Bronx, the line, the waiting room was loaded, folk. And uh, wherever he was, there was loaded. And he never turned anyone away because they were getting better. Right. And they were getting off of medication if they, if they were on it. Now, medical marijuana. Uh, tell us about what drove you to, to, you know, when you said people coming in and people, you mentioned just now how it modified and they began to become normal. Right. Uh, what is something that people come to you and they want to get off? Yes, um, when I first opened up my doors, uh, majority of my patients was the full spectrum that was allowed by the state of New York uh, for a physician to prescribe medical marijuana. Um, over the years, my practice transitioned into pain management. I have patients that suffer from cancer. I have now patients, especially my military brothers, our military brothers, mm -hmm. that suffer from uh, post-traumatic uh, distress, uh, stress disorder. Um, they have irritable bowel disease, Crohn's disease, also had colitis. I have a lot of patients that suffer from that. Um, I have a traumatic uh, brain injury where they have problems with their spine. Uh, neuropathy, diabetics that have uh, diabetic neuropathy, um, and now that category is really falls under chronic pain. Um, uh, cancer patients. I have a few other conditions, but my practice pretty much transitioned into pain management, where majority of my patients now suffer from chronic pain. Um, doesn't matter what, where the pain, the source of the pain is, it's pain. It could be injury to the neck or lower back and have radiculopathy where the pain radiates out into other aspects, you know, the limbs, upper mm -hmm. and lower extremities. Uh, but majority of my patients now are, pain, it's pain management. They have uh, on pain medications. Mm -hmm. They're on uh, either narcotics or they're using behavioral medications that are used to block the pain signal. Again, like I said earlier, it changes their behavior, mm -hmm. changes the brain, brain chemistry, uh, and they know something's wrong, and that's why they come to me. Or the pain medicine doesn't work at all, mm -hmm. so they're coming to me, and this is their last resort. I do have a few patients, and in, in my book I mentioned one mm -hmm. of the patients, uh, they have chronic pain, and they refuse to have surgery because they're afraid if they have surgery, they're going to be crippled. It's going to be worse. Off. They'll be worse off. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you want to jump in? <laughs> yeah, I started to. Then I said, I better let them keep going okay. in because it was making a lot of sense. And people yep. who are out there, I felt they need to hear more of that. Yeah. Later on, we're going to talk about, you know, how Some miracle conditions. conditions. And mm -hmm. we, we, we're going to go into how this book educates. Now, Absolutely. a person can take this book who has, if they have an illness, or if they have a relative or a friend, even a pastor, and mm -hmm. you know that somebody's in your church that's struggling, right. this book is almost a, a, a doctor's book right. on how to deal with these areas of medical marijuana. Right. And, um, and so I want to say to those who, uh, that this is a book you need to get. That's all I can say. It's a book to read, it's a book to educate, and it's a book to uh, allow you to deal with your friends and relatives. Everybody has somebody with a drug problem. And now, they don't have to have a drug problem, but they got pains. They got back pains and all kind of issues and things that, the, you know, that they've been struggling with. We're going to deal with certain areas as dying dignity in our second half. And I want you to get that because a lot of people, uh, you know, uh, we know people have gone to play doctors and want them to put them away. Mm -hmm. Well, Maybe there's another way of dealing with uh, a dying pain and the chronic situations that are uncurable. Uh, there's areas here. We're going to talk about uh, breast cancer and how does marijuana, uh, medical marijuana work with cancer or how does it deal with a person with cancer? We're going to deal with those subjects. Uh, they're all in this book. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why I said you need to get it. If not, firstly for yourself, but then get it and share it with others. Now, they can get this book by going where? Yes, yeah, so they can get it. Uh, we can purchase the book if you go to Amazon.com in the search button, just uh, in a search uh, window. Just type in either my name, Dr. Thomas G. O'Brien II, or put in medical marijuana, real life, true success stories.